Hey, it's Eileen. I wanted to share with you today about the running records that are part of my digital guided reading packs. Um, these are a way that you can quickly assess how a student is doing on a specific level. If you are using these as a guided reading, um, part of your guided reading program, they are perfect to check in on your students. So you might want to print out the whole set of um, running records that are included in the Google Slides presentation, or you might just want to pull it up on your own device and edit the document right there, which I will show you how to do after explaining a little bit first. So basically the running records are used where each student is gonna be reading to you one-on-one -on -one at some point in time. I usually do it at the beginning of a guided reading group where the other kids are reading silently, warming up their brains for reading while one student is reading out loud to you. So this isn't a timed reading. Um, you just want the student to try their best and you don't wanna pressure them about how long it's taking. Um, and I use these as a second read or third read, whatever it is, um, where they already had the opportunity to read it in a reading group, and now you're just actually assessing their ability to read it on their own. Um, so it's usually a follow-up for me. You can also do it as a cold read and if you want to. That's totally up to you if you want to see just if what level they're at. But I generally use it as a follow-up read. So the student's going to be have their passage up on their device and you're going to have the little recording sheet in front of you um, and you just want to make sure that you are editing the student's document that is specific for their name so that's when you're making sure that you have a copy for each student. So when you're ready you're going to listen to the student read and you will mark up the document. There's text boxes all over the place you can see them all highlighted there in the blue and you can just type in um, when they make an error. So if they say this instead of the, you would type this right above the word the. And um, what I recommend is just focus on listening to them read and mark down the errors. And then when you come um, back to it later on, you can actually mark down how many errors they made, how many self-corrects, if they did a meaning, structure, or visual cue in the last section. And then you can tally up their score. And the only part I do recommend doing right after they read is the observational notes there at the bottom so that you um, can remember things when you go back to edit it later. So let's take a look at the actual slide. And here's what it looks like if you end up um, printing it, you can go ahead and print this page and you'll have one for each student or you can just type the student's name here if you want to have a little cover for them. So what I do recommend if you're looking at this right now, obviously this is pretty small for you to be typing in and looking at. So I remember go, I recommend going to view and just zoom it in to 100% and then you can just scroll up and down and you'll see. So you can type up in their name, you can type in the date. So this was on June uh, 6th. 2017. Oops. Okay, and then as they're reading, you're going to be typing in. So like the example I had before, okay, they said the word this instead of dog, instead of the word the. So this goes there. Here they did it correctly. They said the fish, the cat, the, and for this one they actually said bunny. So you're going to just tab over and you're going to write bunny instead of that. And then you keep going and you can type in wherever you want in the little boxes. So then you'd go back here and they made one error on this. And that was a visual cue because they said TH, because they, they saw TH, so they said this instead of the. And then you can um, keep going all the way down to bunny, same thing, they made one error there. And then you can go on and select uh, the different things throughout the boxes. Then you can go, like I said, later, you might want to go back and type in. So they got two errors. So this would have the number eight here. And then that means they actually got um, less than 90%. So they got 80% there. So this student did not um, read this at an instructional level, actually, or from frustrational. So you would put notes in here explaining what they did, different errors that they made. And then what I want, um, want to make sure that you do is really discuss it with your student right afterwards. Say, okay, I noticed that you said the word bunny instead of rabbit. And how can we tell that it it's rabbit instead of bunny? So you would emphasize that there's the letter R there at the beginning. And then you also would say just how well they were, did on identifying the word the every single time after that first one. So then you've got your whole page there all set. 
and you would then scroll to the next one and then you're going to have this whole book of running records that you can use for RTI meetings to share with parents at conferences, at just kind of a re great resource for you to use. And then if you wanna go back, you go back to 50% and everything is all there and then your changes will all be saved in your drive. So that is the running records. I will do another video that shows more specifically what the MSB means and um, other markings that you can put in your uh, little running record. So thanks so much. Have a great day.